Hello and welcome back to my YouTube uh, channel. <laughs> my name's Saoirse and uh, today in this episode we're going to discuss the three menstrual maps. We're going to discuss the last one um, which is the five chambers of menstruation. I nearly said <laughs> the chamber of secrets then. I will probably go and try and say that multiple times in this video so bear with me. Um, so I am currently on cycle day 22. I'm deep in luteal phase right now and if if you feel comfortable enough then feel free to share in the comments um, whereabouts in your cycle you are or if you're cracking with the moon let me know. Um, I do have my uh, notes here, um, I've got various forms of notes um, so let's just go ahead and dive right in. If you haven't listened to my previous two videos, um, one is on the um, inner season so that's one of the menstrual maps, the other one is on the two vias um, and then this is the last of the like the menstrual maps um, that we're going to explore today. I might do some individual episodes on each uh, part of the five chambers of menstrual maps, so five chambers of menstruation rather. Um, so let me know if you'd like, you know, if you'd like to see that breakdown. Um, and I do also have a um, podcast called Free Flow with my cousin. Um, I'm not sure at this time because it's currently February. So and I'm doing a lot of these videos in advance. So those episodes are definitely available to listen to on Spotify and they might be uploaded as like a video form in the podcast tab on YouTube if I've got my head around it at that point <laughs> at this point so um yeah I think um episode season one episodes eight nine eight and nine onwards speak about the menstrual map so if you want to have more more like go into more detail with it then give that a listen okay gonna stop waffling so within the inner winter of your cycle um, there is a specific process that brings you home to love and a remembering of your wild power. Um, Red School call this the map, uh, sorry, call this map the five chambers of menstruation. Um, oh yeah, here we go, more details in Free Flow Podcast episode nine, that's season one, episode nine. And together, these three maps, so um, the inner seasons, the two vias, and five chambers of menstruation, together these three maps work as an integrated process guiding you into wholeness. Um, that is like the premise for, for this for this work. So um, let's move that out the way. I'm just going to move my laptop out of the way. So I've got some notes on here. Um, so the first chamber then um, is separation. And this is really about withdrawing from the world. Um, Shane and Alexandra of Red School um, call this like the Holy Grail. <laughs> um, the Holy Grail um due to it being potentially the most spiritual part of your cycle um you're kind of um knocking at the door of like the inner temple at this point so you're sort of not knocking at the door of the inner temple and then you're really going through it in over through the next uh the next chambers and for me i really noticed this chamber um it kind of comes as like random points a couple of days before my period so at the moment like I said I'm on cycle day 22 and I have had a few moments uh this morning <laughs> and also a little bit now where I'm like I feel a bit like separated from the world and I'm sort of in my own bubble a little bit I had it really strongly I felt it really strongly this morning um and I tend to get that actually I'm I'm, I'm starting to to track this more specifically because I'm really curious to see if it's always at the same like the same day amount of days before my actual bleed um because it could be a really good indicator of like when my bleed's going to come a bit like ovulation so um i'm quite intrigued by that um and yeah and so for me i, I really notice it. it's kind of like a yeah with withdrawing from like the the world and kind of just coming inwards quite a bit and for me it all happened like um if I'm just sort of busying myself with a different task or sometimes if I'm like just taking a walk and I'll suddenly be like oh wow like where was I just now <laughs> oh okay okay I'm back in the room you know it's kind of that like feeling um so yeah I feel I feel like it's really um this kind of time as well I feel like in late luteal phase is a very like intuitive time I feel like I don't know about any of you you guys but I kind of feel like I get more like 
visions or downloads or like just a lot a lot of deja vu and i'm like i couldn't even like i couldn't even start like i can't <laughs> if it's like a conversation or something it's like the other person has started the conversation so like it's not that i've like made it happen in that way you know so i don't know i just find it a really intriguing time um and then the second um the se second chamber of menstruation is surrender um and you'll you'll know when you've really arrived here um because it will be the first day of full flow of your bleed so it's not just the spotting because sometimes people do get a spotting um just before their bleed i went through a, a, a cycle where i a period of time <laughs> where i would would have like a bit of spotting um like even like a week before my bleed um just for like i don't know, a couple of months um so it's the first full day of your bleed um and that's when you're in the chamber of surrender so um it's really about like being in the unknown and like dancing with uncertainty um i think that there's a lot of like I think like the the doing um I think just being like being able to do like being able to just do nothing so I'm trying to read my handwriting I feel like being able to just do nothing like surrender to just do like as little as possible I think there's a lot of like there's a lot of doing in the not doing in this chamber if that makes sense so there's just a lot of like yeah, kind of like allowing yourself to sort of unravel, be in the unknown, dance with the uncertainty and not necessarily have like all of the answers right now and just being okay with that because there's a lot going on. You don't really have to do anything to, yeah, the doing is really in the undoing. <laughs> I, hope, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> um you're really kind of dropping the bundle um and i feel like rest is really radical here um there is a really nice little paragraph in wild power on page 122 um so it says no is it i thought it was page 112 it is a page 112 yeah it's here actually um and it says you rest release and cleanse the stuff of your daily life making space for the new to come in as you empty out, you reconnect to the ground of your being and your unique place in the world, in the cosmos. Um, it is a feeling of having landed and this is the sure sign that you've arrived. I love that little description. Put the book back over there. So, yeah, so you're in, you're in chamber two, which is surrender, which I feel like is, it's challenging isn't it I feel like there's a lot of prep work for me that's involved in being able to really just let myself like drop the load um in this part of my cycle and I'll be completely honest with you the five chambers are probably like my least my least like experienced menstrual map I feel like the other two like I'm I've kind of got those got those down I mean there's always stuff that's like popping up but I feel like I'm pretty like I, I feel like I know them very well I feel like the five chambers is like I do know it but I haven't been able to experience it as much as I would like to, mostly because of like just living like in, in the day to day as I do. Like if I've had to um, work on that day, then I do find it really hard to like drop the bundle fully because maybe like 10 hours of that day I've had to be at a, at a desk like answering phones and things. So I do think like there are yeah there, I mean there are still ways where I can try and like help myself to kind of drop the load and really just like relax into it but I do notice it like when I allow myself to have like a big bleed and I like book time off work and um and just like even if I just have a staycation like I'm at home like I'll really like I'll really notice like the chambers as I'm going through them because I'm just way more in touch with myself because I haven't had to like put other people's needs before mine or I haven't had to like you know be responsible and be like commit like committed to other things like work <laughs> um so yeah so just a little caveat there that obviously this this in itself is like a very um if we get to experience these and you you know you're living in like in the in the west and i feel like it's a very um there is a level of privilege that comes with being able to to kind of drop the bundle you know even if it means like just being able to afford childcare um you know so you can have a bit of time to yourself um so just a, just that little caveat Okay, so then we are in to, I need to remember to breathe. I feel like I've got, <laughs> keep getting really excited today making these videos and then I'm like. <sighs> um, so the next chamber is renewal. 
um, also known as the time of great remembering. I love that. Um, I've put receive, 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 receive. Uh, you are plugged into source. Um, when you think, sorry, when you fully rest, you will feel the great mother hug. Yeah, this is what I call it, the great mother hug. I don't know if this is a term that I read in, in Wild Power, um, because I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I didn't come up with the mother hug, <laughs> or if it's just like a thing. Um, but anyway, it just feels like this is big, this, this is just like the biggest hug in the world. Like it's just so like, you know when you're like poorly in bed with the flu and you just want like a big hug, like it's just like that. Like it's just so beautiful um, and so like unconditional and pure. Um, so, and this is, yeah, I've put, this is the most natural uh, bliss and high I've ever felt. And it is deeply nourishing um, on a, yeah, on a mental, physical and emotional level. Um, and I think for me, I'm really remembering like when I got to experience this, when I really went through the, the five chambers. And I think it was back in 2022 when I was actually doing my menstrual leadership program with Shanae and Alexandra. And it just so happened that it was uh, Queenie's birthday. So I think I had um, like a long weekend. So I had the Friday, Saturday, Sunday and the Monday off, maybe even a Thursday. I'm not sure but I feel like I had like a really good chunk of time off and it just so happened that my bleed came like a day early and I got to like really just enjoy like being like going through the chambers and because I've been studying with them at that point I was really really aware of that it was at the forefront of like my mind um so I was like oh I was really able to like experiment with it and I just felt so um I did have like some cramping still but I just I didn't have any painkillers because I don't have, you know, a lot of a lot of pain. I've had moments, I've had cycles where I've had a lot of pain, but for the most part, um, I don't get a lot of a lot of knock on wood. I don't get a lot of pain. Um, so I just like didn't take any. I did had like some cacao, and I didn't really eat a lot, um, just because I just didn't feel like really really hungry, and I just really enjoyed like what like kind of gliding through the chambers and just really like listening to my body and. Um, when I did have some cramps, it was like this big, because the because cramps do release oxytocin. I think the same it's the same chemical as that you release during childbirth, um, and that is like well, can be like waves of like bliss and just like mother hug uh, kind of vibe. So I just really got to like drop the bundle and enjoy that, and I just couldn't recommend it enough. It's just so so beautiful. You feel really like really 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 cared for, really like supported in cycle, really just like plugged in and connected to source or like you know to yourself like home it just feels like yeah just really really pure and really like kind of like ethereal and intoxicating but also really grounding um and it's just beautiful so yeah that's my that's my experience with renewal um and then we have uh chamber four which is visioning um the vision quest so the wild power whispers and it's a time where your calling is calling basically so you've kind of you become like you become an oracle like you get the most beautiful downloads this is why i say about writing in red pen because i always feel like i get really beautiful downloads um when i've you know, been able to just stop um and take some time out during my bleed even if that's just kind of scaffolding time in um you know in days when i am working and things um and i'm gonna yawn sorry Ah. and um <laughs> and it's often here that you kind of get answers to questions that you've been asking um so again it's just really nice to like take a bit of time to just do some journaling um and even just sometimes you know having like a nice long walk um maybe i like i do listen to some music i really enjoy um beautiful chorus especially when i'm on my bleed oh so nice especially in the bath um but also like yeah maybe having some gentle movement and just like yeah listening to like what your body needs giving yourself some nourishment and then yeah just noticing as the answers kind of pop you know kind of click into place and um sometimes that happens whilst you're doing something completely different and you're like oh okay <laughs> okay that's what i need to do you know um and then we reach chamber five which is clarity and direction and um so you've kind of like you've kind of had this crescendo with um the the renewal and the visioning and then you kind of receive the next steps and sometimes these are like 
just one words sometimes they're like super simple or sometimes they might be like a really particular thing um and they're always like really clear and even if you even if they just seem like really small things um like very small directions or like something where you're like oh how could that have any like effect you know on all this other stuff that's going on um i think it's just worth following them and just seeing you know kind of following them actioning them accordingly and just seeing what happens um seeing what unravels throughout the next part of your cycle um so yeah i mean like i say sometimes they can just be like really simple things sometimes they might be like more in-depth things um i think a lot of the time like we do just kind of overthink stuff and we like and i think we kind of whilst we crave whilst a lot of things can be simple doesn't necessarily mean that they're easy um so i think that it just kind of it just cuts cuts through everything and just gives like the simple direction the simple next step whatever it is that you that you need um yeah i'd love to know if any of you listening um or watching have had any experience with the five chambers of menstruation i think they are fascinating i think it's so cool that we can get like a deeper a deeper dive with our cycles especially during the inner winter during our period and um yeah i'd love to hear more about your perspectives i would definitely like to explore this again um soon like give myself like a good um excuse me oh, sorry give myself a good like um leadcation would be really cool um yeah and just see like what you know what com what wants to emerge but of course there's, uh, there's ways that we can you know we can scaffold in rest um into our days a little bit yoga nidras um just listening to music having like a nice long bath maybe just having like no sound on for 20 minutes whilst you just lie in lie on your bed or whatever um some journaling so there's ways that we can invite in um the the five chambers of menstruation um i don't th i don't feel like it's that you have to just stop everything and drop the load but i do feel like to really get in to the five chambers you kind of do have to do that i feel like that's when you really feel re renewal um at chamber three and really rejuvenated um and i think when we don't allow ourselves to fully drop the load or if we we can't because we have other things you know in that we have to do other responsibilities i think that we can still you know nourish ourselves as much as we can um and even if it's not as much as we'd like to during that cycle it's something that we can you know maybe bear in mind for you know the next one or something um yeah i'm gonna wrap up this video now folks but thank you so much for joining me today um i've got my new yellow shirt on from vintage which i'm just loving it's so comfy it's got like a little tie tie here it's just so adorable um and i feel like nice and snuggly um and yeah so uh yeah let me know uh how you how you feel about about the five chambers of menstruation let me know if you want some more in-depth videos on each one separately and do give the podcast a listen to because we do dive into each one um in more detail over on the podcast free flow okay thank you so much for joining me today i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and i will see you in my next video okay bye folks <laughs>